Dual Review is brought to you by SpiderWolf.com. On today's Dual Review, it's Plunkett and McLean. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Hey everybody, today is August 16th and we're talking about the movie Plunkett and McLean. That's right, and this movie came out in 1999. Uh, it was done by, there's three of them, so let me see if I can get them all. Uh, working title was one, the Arts Council of England was another one, and the first one is Polygram Filmed Entertainment. I had to look down, I apologize. So there are the three houses that, that created this movie, um, and the plot is essentially uh, in... What year was it? Like 1700s or 1800s? What? I would think it'd be 18. Okay, well, essentially, uh, no, essentially. So Captain James McLean is locked up. He, he, well, he's a poor, failed aristocrat, and he's locked up for drunkenness and his debt, his outstanding debt. He's a gentleman living in the gutter. Yes, and um, and so he, in the very beginning, but I don't want to give it away because it has actually an interesting scene. But he he meets and eventually befriends Will Plunkett. Who is a highwayman? Which, and I, if you don't know what a highwayman highway man is, then you haven't played Skyrim or Fable. Jesse James. Yes, but J in the 1800s. Right, right. They essentially rob people. They hold up carriages and stuff. And um, he's played by Robert Carlyle, who is uh, Rumpelstiltskin in Once. From Once Great Upon actor. a Time, yeah. And he does a wonderful job there. Um, so, so they befriend each other, and they de they decide to go into plot together, um, where. Uh, uh, James McLean goes in as his aristocratic self and finds out where the money is, and then they both rob those people of their jewelry and stuff. But then there's this love interest and all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, it's just, it's a very fun movie, but go ahead, take it away. Johnny Lee Miller. Johnny Lee Miller. Love Johnny Lee Miller and just yeah. about everything that he's I've done. I've been really loving Elementary, so thank yes. you for that, by the way. Not he's the problem. one that's, yeah, he's like, you have to watch this. I love Elementary. I love Johnny Lee Miller. I anyway. I... Train Spotting. Uh, they were both on Train Spotting, actually, both him and Carlisle. Yeah. Go ahead. I really do enjoy this movie. That's why I wanted to review it. It's, it's I believe it's on Netflix, right? I Isn't that where I believe so? Yeah. Um, it has been at one point. Yeah. I just keep taking things off randomly sometimes, but uh, it's it's kind of one of those like kind of overlooked movies because it's it's not terribly anybody hugely famous. I mean, Liv Tyler probably in our world would be the famous most famous actor. I mean, Johnny Lee Miller obviously we know from Train Spotting and and Elementary Hackers. now, but. But, uh, yeah, but it's not one of those things that really registers on American, you know, like hit lists. Eh, I don't know. I, I like hackers. Yeah. I, I, th I think that works. Anyway, um, I really do enjoy this movie, and it does have that kind of Iron Maiden, Three Musketeers kind of vibe, because it's, you know, it's a period piece. Right. I love Alan Cummings in this. Yes. He's just kind of a ridiculous gentleman who is always betting, and, you know, he's he's got some, you know, alternate lifestyle going on in a time where that's not really, you know, whatever. But everybody's wearing their wigs and stuff, and you get a little bit of that. You get kind of Plunkett's induction into the society, so he has all this awkward, like, dressing up and all that stuff, because essentially they're posing as gentlemen, you know, kind right. of thing. Right. Well... Declaims the gentleman and Plunkett is the his man, which right, is essentially right. a servant, butler or whatever. Yeah. Um. And so you get all this kind of period stuff. And I don't think there's anything that really breaks that, but there's also kind of this funny, um, um, robbery thing where you know he's wearing a mask and all that stuff, yeah. and it's just kind of very Zorro esque or whatever. I don't know. It evokes a lot of different things. Agreed. And it's just very entertaining and it's really well done. Uh, Liv Tyler is interesting. I think the more interesting character is the one that you didn't necessarily mention, uh, the guy that looks like Napoleon. Oh, oh, um, the, 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 what is his name? Thief Catcher, uh, no, uh, what is his name? Thief, Thief Taker, Taker General Chance, played by, played by Ken Scott. Stott. 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 You're right. Stott. He, he wrote it down. We're looking at his computer. Stott. Ken Stott. Uh, so anyway, I, I really enjoyed his character, although, you know, it's one of those characters you love to hate. Like, yes. I really did not like him. Dude. And there's, like, this, you know, almost rape scene that oh. I just makes me furious but it's just kind of like you understand what the the target of that and I don't know if I should give it away is is feeling and what she might have had to endure in the interim when you whatever and then there's like a botched um I don't know if I want to give that away too there's a duel at some point and all this stuff and you just see all these little things and it's just right. this uh, again character piece I guess where you just it it, it Maybe written on paper, or well, it was like, why would we want to watch this, or why would we want to watch that? But when it's in this movie, it just kind of all works. I don't know. I, I think 
I don't know if it's I guess what I'm saying paper. is that the foreshadowing is not heavy handed. So everything that happens makes sense all, you know, eventually. Right. But sometimes it just seems like a throwaway moment. So I, I'm actually praising it. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. yeah anyway, like the whole drop down shoot. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Gotcha. Um so I really do enjoy this movie. I highly recommend it. I don't know what else to say. It's one of those things that we talk too much about, we're gonna give away the plot. The costuming is great. Music is is great because you don't really notice it. I wanted to bring up the music Which actually because um, the music and some of the mannerisms that both Johnny Lee Miller and uh, well I guess all of them really that they do sometimes it's kind of like this period piece that ties in this modern era. So like for example at a dance they'd have these ver this very classical music in the background, but it would also have these kind of electro uh, elec electro um, techno. There's the word techno beats kind of mixed in but it's only so slight and you could barely make it out but you, you recognize it and you immediately think of you know movies like train spotting and Smash hackers and, yeah. yeah just because you know you see johnny lee miller and you associate him with yeah. that and the music and usually you know those sorts of things really date movies i'm looking at you lady hawk it's totally 1980s oh dude yeah the music is just like it takes you oh yeah if you don't like the 80s you won't like that movie just because it's so 80s the music is yes but this music is i think well done enough and of course time will tell that it, it does kind of just remind you of that period but it doesn't like lock it in like you have to appreciate 80s kitsch right. you know, to like this this film well i think time can tell because it's been more than a decade and we still like this yeah movie. it's true it's true but anyway yes it is it is fun enough but there is that classical you know the slant as well, so I, I do enjoy that. But again, I, I think that you do notice it, but I think it, it, for the most part you don't, which is makes a great soundtrack. Right. Um, and yeah, uh, Liv Tyler even, I don't typically like her that much, but I think she does great here. She's so hot. I actually watched like three Liv Tyler movies in a row. Um, Empire Records. Uh, no. Damn, really? Oh, shoot. Well, I mean, I've, I've watched it, but that's not the ones I'm talking about. Oh, uh, the three, okay, uh, Jersey Girl. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, um. Anyway, uh, so yes, this is a, a great movie, solid, solid movie, great Agreed. acting. Yeah, I, I guess another thing to bring up is um, when one of the things that makes these two unique as highwaymen is Johnny Lee Miller is always trying to be the the gentleman because he is an aristocrat. So when he's under mask, he be, he dons the persona of the gentleman highwayman. So essentially, he's very polite while robbing, and he's always like. <laughs> apologizing if Plunkett does something too far, you know, goes too far, like, really forces something. And that kind of builds up, like, a romance, and some people want to get robbed, like, for the fame yeah, of like it. Yeah, Zorro. Yeah. Or yeah. Robin Hood. Yeah, or exactly. Whatever. So, so it is, uh, it, it, there's so there's so much just being tied into this movie. It's it's a great movie. Well, you should really check yeah, it out. There's also the inner conflict between the two characters. Right. They don't always get along. So. Right. And then at the end, you're kind of, I don't know, it, it's a little fugitive at the end. I mean, it's frantic at the end. I mean, yes. It just kind of happens, so... So yeah, I, I, if you're interested in period pieces, this is kind of even a little bit different than that. It might appeal to people who aren't really usually into period pieces. So. Yeah, agreed. Especially with the little techno thing that I, you know, the, the bringing in, yeah, <laughs> no, it's not quite like the, the bringing in of the modern era. And I love when when movies can do that. Uh, I like when they do it responsibly. Yes, yes, I liked I liked that Knight's Tale because they did that. You know, where they would bring some ties in. It was just wonderful. But yeah, so this is a wonderful movie. If you haven't seen it, I, I highly recommend it. It's a great movie. So yeah. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlists. Game Labs have been a laugh riot. Yes, it has, and please leave comments. We Throw love on. comments, and you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right, T-shirts, a card game, art print, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, so are we, so find us and friend us, and if I'm online, I will chat with you. All right, and we also blogging. You can follow me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, little bits about my world that I've created over 10 plus years. Uh, take a look if you like it, share it, support me that way. And my blog is nicholasbach.tumblr.com where I have short stories and poetry, so if you're interested, go check that out. All right, guys. See you later. Sign it off. Yeah. Oh, took my time. See that? I would hit and I was like, it was like really cool skin thing. Yeah, just like skipping off. <laughs> Up next, it's Iron West. McLean or it's McLean? I think it's McLean. Plunkett and McLean. How would you pronounce that? Uh, McLean. That's what I, I think that's yeah. how they pronounced it in the, the movie. I don't think it's McLean. I think it's McLean. Because there's an E, there's an E, A, and then an Mr. N. Mr. Clean is not involved. No. So. no nor, nor is his Irish brethren, Mick Clean. Do you want your tub sparkly?
<laughs> well, get me. I'm Mr. McLean. <laughs> he's that bald, but he's got like a tattoo of a shamrock or something. Very, very yeah. racist. I've been in prison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That was horrible to me. I'm sorry. On today's tour review, it's Plunkett McLean. I'm Archie. Uh, and I'm, let's get to work. I'm Nick. Hi, and I'm Nick. Don't touch my gold. Don't flood me, but a gold. Don't touch me, but a gold. It's just me if I'm a leprechaun. It's funny, it's like, as long, the longer I do the Irish thing, the more I lose it, so it just end up sounding like an asshole. You know, it's, it's funny, when I try... Five ta ta 5033. When I try to sound like I'm from Jersey, you know, like, actually try, like, to say something in Jersey, you know, I had to, like, try, it, it doesn't come out right, but as uh, long as... Chowder. That's, that's Boston. Boston. I know, it was a joke. Chowder. No, so, so yeah, I, I can't Chill, do it, no. but but as long as I'm doing it, like, without paying attention, people are like, oh my god, you're this so, why are you talking like that, you freak? <laughs> <laughs> they just like that. On today's dual review, it's Plunkett and McLean. I'm Audrey. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. <laughs> why the Irish voice? I don't really know. No, neither. Mick. And Mac is actually Scottish, so it wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. Plonkett and McLean. I'm, I'm from America. We talk like Stupid. regular people. Dude, my, my father and my aunt are On today's dual review. Are still doing like their genealogy thing, they keep they keep looking into. So now I feel guilty for all the like slaves that my family has had. You know, like my great 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 grandmother. I, I, I think I'm actually free of that because I think I'm like fourth generation. Dude, you are so lucky. Cause <laughs> they every, were slaves. It, it it sucks because like every time I see a black person, I have to apologize to them. I'm like, dude, I'm so sorry. You know, I, you know, we we had like. Now like, we know I have no black friends. I, I do have black friends. Like, not here, you know. No, not here. Well, this is this is Washington. I I think I found like two black people <laughs> like in the entire state. They live together and they hate us all. <laughs> There's plenty of black people in this state. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah. It's like black people in my neighborhood. Yeah. I just. What up, brother? No. <laughs> what up? Don't want to do that. Oh. We're not racist, just very white. <laughs> very white. Although I'm kind of red right now because it's very hot and I'm kind of embarrassed. Uh, we still need to do the on today's order do thing. Oh, we didn't do that? Oh, yeah, you, you did I did the ridiculous accent. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sorry. On today's dual review, it's Plunkett and McLean. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. You still sounded Irish. A, a little. You were still there. Hard. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, uh, yo. He's okay. <laughs> Every time. Oh, it's so hot. Plunkett and McLean. <laughs> Plunkett and McLean is so hot? So, no.